At IDEX 2021 in Abu Dhabi, two companies based in the United Arab Emirates, Adasi and Alcon, both of them subdivisions of Edge, presented a new range of UAV loitering munition. Adasi presented four products, the QX1, a micro UAV, the QX2, a mini UAV, the QX3, a small UAV, and the QX4, an impressive vertical takeoff and landing fixed-wing UAV. The loitering munitions is a weapon system category in which the munitions loiter around the target area for some time, search for targets, and attack once a target is located and selected. Loitering munitions enable faster reaction times against hidden targets that emerge for short periods without placing high-value platforms close to the target area, and allows more selective targeting as the actual attack mission can be aborted. In fact, the Adasi QX-1 is a loitering munition using an aerial drone able to carry a payload as a single bomb. In fact, the Adasi QX-1 is a loitering munition or using an aerial drone able to carry a payload like a single bomb. This type of system provides military forces with an effective small footprint tool to make discrete targeted attacks with accuracy and effectiveness. The QX-1 quadcopter system consists of an unmanned aerial vehicle, a ground control unit and a payload. It has a maximum takeoff weight of 3 kilos. It also features a compact airframe that can easily be stored and carried in a backpack. The Adasi QX-1 features simple fuse options to meet various mission requirements. The front of the drone is fitted with a gimbal optic system that includes TV or thermal camera, tracker and seeker. The drone is also equipped with a GNSS, the Global Navigation Satellite System. It has a maximum payload of half a kilo. The QX-1 is electrically powered thanks to four coaxial motors using replaceable batteries. Each motor drives a two-blade propeller. The drone has a service ceiling of 2 km and a flight endurance of up to 20 minutes. It can fly at a maximum range of 10 km with a maximum cruising altitude of 1,000 meters. So the first system we have is uh, QX-1, it's basically a small quad quadcopter. The idea behind this uh, system is basically to be man portable. So any soldier for ground troops can, of ground troops can take it basically and transport it in a backpack and easily can be set up within 10 minutes. The unique feature about this system and other system is that the system can track the target, identify the target through the electro-optic you see here uh, mounted on the airframe and uh, transfer this information to each one of those systems. Now for this one, unique one, the operational mode is only a kamikaze, which is the direct hit. So once the target is confirmed, the aircraft itself will fly into the target to destroy it. QX-2 Mini UAV provides infantry and special forces with a portable drone capable of carrying and delivering a precision-guided weapon or deploying in kamikaze configuration with an embedded warhead at a standoff range of 20 km. With a maximum takeoff weight of 8 kg, the electric quadcopter can be fitted with a payload of 1.5 kg, such as surveillance electro-optic infrared gimbal, in addition to the armed payload of pre- and post-attack information gathering. QX-2 has a flight endurance of 30 minutes, a cruising altitude of 1,000 meters, and an operational ceiling of 2,000 meters. All QX precision-guided systems use sophisticated artificial intelligence algorithm to target and strike, boasting an accuracy of 1 meter CEP, the circular error probable, with an aim similar to laser-guided munitions. Built to launch in any environment or terrain, the entire QX family of UAVs are lightweight, man-portable and comprise vertical takeoff and landing capabilities. QX2 is, uh, is um quadcopter as well. It can carry a payload of uh, 1.5 kg. The unique feature, as, as we said earlier, that um, the electro-optic identifies the target, gather all required information from, from the target, and transfer those information to a, uh, to a small computer, of AI computer, 
which by itself transfers the information to the guided munition. The guided munition by itself has another camera uh, mounted on, uh, on the tip of it, which um, works as a guidance uh, to the target during the free fall of the, of the, of the, um, of the guided munition. Uh, another feature as well for all those systems is basically uh, it, it has the ability to navigate based on video capability. The QX3 is the third member of the QX loitering munitions family. Like the QX1 and QX2, the QX3 uses the same design with an airframe and four electrically powered two blade propellers. The forward section of the body integrates an electro optic gimbal with a TV thermal camera seeker allowing video and control data capabilities. The QX3 loitering munitions system puts a powerful aerial capability in the hands of infantry and special forces through a 20 kilo UAV with a capacity of up to four precision guided munitions depending on the platform. With onboard video and multiple weapons, the system empowers operators to respond to changing realities in real time, providing robust support to ground operations. Transportable by light vehicle and available in multi-rotor vertical takeoff and landing versions, the QX3 loitering munitions offers a standoff range of 40 km and an endurance of up to 90 minutes with vertical and landing versions and 40 minutes with multi-rotor versions for extended mission scenarios. The QX3 kamikaze drone can be remotely controlled by a single operator using a ground control station, allowing the control of the quadcopter to set the flight path and manage payloads during the flight. The QX3 can carry a maximum payload of 6 kilos in multi-role version and 2.5 to 5 kilo in quadcopter configuration. QX3 is the largest one of the quadcopters in here. Same unique features as well. The electro-optic works um, and has an important role not only to, um, to identify the target but only it plays a role uh, for uh, post uh, battlefield assessment. So basically the troops can assess the, the damages uh, for, for the target after initiating the attack. The QX4 was also unveiled during IDEX 2021. It's the largest variant of the loitering munitions in the QX family, but it's based on a different design, consisting of a fuselage with fixed wings and a twin tail configuration with the control structures arranged in V shape. The QX4 is electrically powered by four twin blade propellers with two mounted at the rear of the fuselage and one mounted on the lower part of each wing. It features vertical takeoff and landing capabilities. The landing gear consists of four skid shoes, no wheels. The QX4 is equipped with an electro-optic gimbal fitted on the lower part of the drone's nose, which is equipped with TV, thermal, tracker and seeker. The operator can control the QX4 thanks to a ground control station. The QX4 has a maximum takeoff weight of 20 kilos and can easily be transported by a light vehicle. It has an operational ceiling of 2,000 meters with a cruising altitude of 1,000 meters. The drone has a flight range of 40 km and a flight endurance of 90 minutes. QX4 has a maximum payload of 5 kg that includes up to two precision guided bombs. The system uses sophisticated artificial intelligence algorithm to target and strike, boasting an accuracy of 1 meter circular error probable with a name similar to laser guided munitions. QX4 is the fixed wing VTOL loiter munition and it has the same features that the other two has. So basically, it can work on the, uh, the, during any denied GPS um, situations. It can gather all information about the target throughout the, the, the mounting camera on top and transfer all those information to the guided munition so, the, so we can get a more accurate uh, attack on any targets. Basically, those, those systems are developed for local customers, which is uh, the UAE market. But we plan to, to, go, to go internationally, hopefully, by uh, Q1 next year. And uh, we believe with the capability that we have now, uh, we, have, we, have, we have a big chance to be, to be competitive in the, in the regional and in international market as well. Let's have a look on Halcon's two loitering munitions now. Halcon has developed a full range of jet engine loitering munitions able to deliver high precision strikes. At IDEX 2021, Halcon unveiled its Shadow 25 and Shadow 50. 
delivering high-precision strikes against fixed targets, but also providing advanced guidance capabilities. These UAVs leverage global navigation satellite system and can fly using video navigation system in a GPS-denied environment. The design of the Shadow UAVs is similar to a fighter aircraft, with crop delta wing incorporating wing fuselage blending, a tail fin and a jet engine. The were part of the fuselage is equipped with electro-optic systems and camera. The Alcon Shadow 25 provides defense forces with a rapid strike kamikaze ammunition capable of delivering a precision strike against fixed targets. Featuring advanced guidance capabilities and onboard video navigation, the Halcon Shadow 25 provide defense forces with a rapid strike kamikaze ammunition capable of delivering a precision strike against fixed targets. Featuring advanced guidance capabilities and onboard video navigation, the Shadow 25 system has a cruising speed of 450 km per hour and a flight endurance of one hour, creating new opportunities to swiftly neutralize stationary enemy targets with a powerful 25 kilo payload even those located up to 250 kilometers away. The Shadow 25 has a takeoff weight of 80 kilos, a wingspan of 2 meter 35, a length of 2 meter 84, and an height of 76 centimeters. The Shadow 50 is the largest version in the Shadow family. Featuring advanced guidance capabilities and onboard video navigation, the Shadow 50 enables the rapid delivery of large payloads of up to 50 kilos, while offering mission flexibility with a 250 km range and a 4-hour flight endurance. With a length of 2 meters and 7 centimeters, a wingspan of 4 meters and 5 centimeters, a height of 58 centimeters, the Shadow 50 is powered by a jet engine, like the Shadow 25, and can fly at a cruising speed of 200 km per hour.